everyone and welcome to another royal reading. It's a Thursday here in South Africa as I'm doing this reading, public holiday here, so it feels a bit like a Saturday. But anyway, I have the Venetian tarot on the tarot table for this reading. It's uh, my Machiavellian tarot deck, conspiring and plotting and all these kinds of things. And yes, we're in that territory again with the royals. One particular royal, Harry, he gave another witness, well, I was going to say witless statement, a witness statement and yet another hacking case and he really dropped them all in it from afar. He didn't bother to fly back to the UK to actually give his statement. He did it remotely but dropped them all in it, dropped the late Queen in it by claiming that she allegedly green-lighted his court case, his own private legal proceedings. Um, he dropped Charles and Camilla in it, said that they've made a deal with the press, or well, they made a deal with the press way back when, um, so that the press would smooth Camilla's path into the royal family and to being Queen. And then, of course, he dropped his brother in it. Uh, hugely by revealing that Prince William received something like a million pound settlement in his own hacking case. He and Catherine um, were hacked numerous times, far more than Harry was. Um, Harry was in on that um, court case until Meghan came along. Then Harry decided that he was going to go it alone, change lawyers. And um, he apparently was offered £200,000 for his case, decided not to settle. Um, he was, of course, hacked by far the least of all of the people who've been affected by this. And a lot of people are speculating that the only reason he's taking these proceedings now is because he is disgruntled that uh, Prince William was offered so much more. Uh, but he's really dropped them all in it. He's burned the place down. Prince William is apparently furious, murderous, hates his brother. I'm going to read on that next. I have done a recent relationship reading on the brothers. Didn't look good. Um, but anyway, we'll have a look at it again. Me Meanwhile, I have the Venetian tarot on the tarot table, as I think I've already shown you, but um, we're going to uh, have a look at um, this. We're going to do a count cross. We're going to look at it from Harry's point of view. What is going on with him? What on earth is um, motivating this? Is it jealousy? Um, the judge, of course, has uh, been rather uh, unsympathetic towards Harry's case, has said that there are factual inconsistencies in the statement, meaning uh, what you and me might call lies. So we're going to ask how that's going to go in the near future. What is going on with Harry, basically? His attitude to the royal family, he really seems to want to burn the place down. He's claiming that he's doing it for everyone's good. He wants to reform the press for the sake of all humanity. But what, what's eating Harry Windsor, dirty Harry, as uh, people are calling him? And of course, I have to remind you, I think we're ready to go, that this is just tarot for entertainment. It, especially when we're dealing with legal proceedings, we are speculating. We are looking at energy, archetypal energy. It's all my opinion. And there is, of course, a disclaimer in the box below. And I've just knocked the camera. Uh, it's a rather tricky angle here. I haven't quite refined my working space ever, uh, but never mind, uh, it, it it does. And uh, so there we are, nice little cards, these, the, um, the uh, Venetian tarot that we have here. And let us see what they want to tell us. We've got them all out on the, the table. I have to check, yeah, okay, you can see what you need to see. And uh, we have, underlying energy is the seven of pentacles in reverse that's a waste of money and a waste of time and a waste of effort right there not getting a return on your investment um and yeah so it looks like has been is um barking up the wrong tree here basically the tarot would like to tell us that as our underlying energy that he's wasting resources he's wasting court resources apart from anything else um, he is wasting time, he's wasting money, he's wasting his legal team's um, efforts. They don't care, they get paid. Uh, but certainly he's, he's um, uh, taking valuable time away from the court system that I'm sure they could be using um, for better purposes. So yes, and he is squandering his own resources as well. So that's not a very encouraging sign if you're a fan of Harry's um, and think that this court case is uh, justified. 
Um, so let's see the situation that Harry is, is he finds himself in the middle of. Here we've got the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, sorry, I was going to say, good grief. I was so taken aback by how much it looks like Henry VIII, that Knight of Pentacles. Never noticed that before. But the Knight of Pentacles, there he is, that has been. Uh, the long, steady journey. Uh, this has been a long journey. It's been going on for years. I think since 2012 and um, but he's at it he's not giving up he's going to plot on with this um, sticking sticking to his guns and uh, so there he is that's the earth sign prince that is has been determined determined to have his day in court determined to get a bigger settlement uh, because the knight of pentacles is very money driven motivated by financial security and gains we've got pentacles um, showing up in this reading seven of pentacles in reverse actually costing him money at this point universe is quite eager to tell us that but there he is determined to just plow on but what is crossing him what's obstructing him what is blocking him what's in his way and we have the knight of wands in reverse interesting we've got two knights this is his temper his erratic self his volatility his recklessness his it just his anger um the knight of of wands is very dramatic it's very enthusiastic very exciting energy to be around as i always say um but it can be quite um wishy-washy it blows hot and cold and when it's in reverse it, it it can be somebody who doesn't stick around and he hasn't bothered to show up for this court case yet uh, people are speculating he may stay on or come back again for it later in the next few months. But it's an erratic energy, but it's m mostly what's coming through for me. Uh, interpreting energy here, my opinion, temper. Bad, bad, bad temper. Impatience, being too volatile. If he'd just gone with the court case as it was, he would have got a settlement. It would have all been um, sorted out years ago and he could have got on with his life. But he was impatient. He was angry. He felt like he was being personally attacked and wronged and so went off um, under the influence of his wife who helped him to see situation differently and give him a different idea of the media. Uh, and uh, so off he went on this mad escapade, this rather harebrained um, scheme. Uh, what is going on behind the scenes? His motive, his hidden motive. Is it jealousy? Is it this money, this bigger settlement that William got? The, the extra sausage, the bigger bedroom, that sort of thing. The hermit. Um, he's had some kind of epiphany. I was talking about Megan. He's not motivated by... Um, uh, the the money thing he does want the money for sure knight of pentacles tells us that but the hermit coming up in the hidden energy in the the subconscious position and um, the down below the hermit is harry so he's shown up twice he's now shown up in his major arcana energy of the person who shines a light and he feels like this is his vocation. This is a crusade that he is now on. He has been persuaded by the people around him, um, allegedly, that this is his, his cause in life. It's his purpose, his meaning. And he is the one who's going to shine light into the darkness and reveal to the gaping masses the true horror of the British press and the situation that um, we are all in. Never mind that it was 20 years ago, more than that, 30 years ago, that this was all going on. You could even say perhaps 40 years ago. Um, but he feels that this is his obligation, this is his purpose, his path. He's had a moment almost of enlightenment. So that's very interesting. He's not going to let this go easily. Um, what is his focus? What's his mind is set on right now? Four of Swords. Um, he feels that he has been um, wronged. He feels like he's been defeated at some level. He's been treated badly. His reputation has been damaged, tarnished. He's, he went on and on and on about how um, it's the British press who painted him as the drug addict and the, the sicko and the, the alcoholic and the whatever else. And so he had to play along with that, the buffoon. Uh, they created this image of him but it's not true but he went along with it because what else can you do if you're a prince of the realm uh, but go along with the image that the press have I nearly said the pests the press have painted of you so four of swords 
very, very, very upset, wounded, humiliated, feeling that he has been um, treated dishonorably. He has been um, betrayed at some level. So definitely a self-pity energy there and feeling that his reputation has been harmed and that he has to stand up for himself and um, really fight. We've got two, two retiring energies here, just by the way. The Four of Swords normally is somebody retreating from battle, retiring to lick their wounds, to heal, to think, to pray, to meditate. And the Hermit is a very similar energy. It's going within, um, isolating oneself, going on a sort of vision quest. You could say, I doubt that Harry knows what a vision quest is, even though he is a keen um, consumer of ayahuasca but anyway it's interesting that we're getting that that idea of he's, he's had a big think about this or somebody else has helped him to have a big think you might say that's me and my bit of snark for the day tell us now please about the court case when it was the joint effort with William and Catherine how how did that make him feel the moon in reverse um I think that he feels that it was all just bogged down in, in um, <sighs> people were afraid. They were afraid of the press. There were secrets, there were things, and he felt the need to expose them. Moon in reverse, revealing stuff. Uh, um, moon upright, being in, in the fog, in the clouds, in the shadows, secrets, hidden stuff, deals that are a bit dirty, murky business, dirty dealings. In reverse, he felt that it was on him to expose this, the, 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 the conspiracy between Charles and Camilla and the press, the um, secret uh, uh, settlement that William pocketed um, and didn't tell anyone, all of that stuff. He feels that it was dishonest and that he's taken it upon himself to reveal it. Note how that lantern matches the moon. So what's coming next for has been? We've heard the judge say that there are factual inconsistencies in that statement. What's coming next from the court? How, what, what news are we going to get next? Judgment. We're going to get some kind of announcement, a big one, because it's a major arcana judgment. Trumpet is going to sound. It's awakening. It's a revelation. It's, a, it's also a second chance, second coming. He might get a chance to, just as Samantha Markle had a chance to go and fix her claim, amend her claim, refile. He might get a chance to have another bash at it, take out some of those inconsistencies, have another go. Uh, but we are going to get some kind of decision from the court. It could be, it could be go away. That, that expression that I use repeatedly at the moment about Harry, go away, take yourself away, I've decided. Because judgment really is about decisions. I have decided what you are worth. And I was asking particularly in the context of the factual inconsistencies. And we might have to clarify, but we'll see, we'll see we have a final outcome for this case. Um, so it has been the attitude to the royal family, because he does seem quite happy to burn the place down right now. Um, uh, blow up all the bridges, the magician in reverse. Again, I'm getting the idea that he wants to expose. He wants to expose um, machinations, trickster energy. He wants to expose how the palace and the media are a hand in glove. It's the puppet master, the trickster, the manifester. Uh, the magician, all the power, but behind the scenes because the card is in reverse. I feel that, that he really feels that everybody needs to see how wicked they all are, that he has had this revelation and therefore everyone else needs to have it too. Interesting that the revelation only came when Megan arrived on the scene, as I keep saying, and as many other people are saying around and about. But he does want to expose this uh, quite interesting energy. Um, it's not healthy energy. It's not positive energy. It's, it's quite malicious energy. It's his own trickster energy as well. Um, the magician in the reverse. It's a very powerful card. It's a very slippery card, even when it's upright, the magician, because it's somebody who has enormous power and resources and can use them for good or evil, makes stuff happen. And it's not always good stuff that you put on your vision board or one puts on one vision board or once or manifests. Um, negative thoughts, toxic thoughts can manifest too. In fact, they have sometimes more chance of manifesting because there's so much emotion attached to them that they can really burn the house down if you think uh, about that long enough. 
or intensely enough. So what pressure is he under? Is he under financial pressure? Is this um, why the court case or is this something else going on? Is it the wife elbowing him with his sharp pointed elbows? Um, we have the six of swords in reverse. Six of Swords is, is about moving away from trouble, difficulties, mental um, constructs, sailing into clear water, sailing away from difficulty, sailing at traveling overseas as well. But it's in reverse. He can't let this go. He just can't. I saw that with the Knight of Pentacles. This is a narrative that is haunting him. Even um, though he went overseas, it's followed him at some level he feels well he's the one who keeps popping up with new court cases more litigation more threats of litigation as a result of this in fact because i think some of the royal reporters have been saying that prince william actually handed over that one million award that settlement to invictus uh, not true that one million didn't go to invictus it came from somewhere else um, so there's been threats of litigation in and around um, Royal uh, Megan adjacent, Megan and Harry, shall we say, adjacent Twitter accounts and things like that, threatening legal proceedings. Um, something he can't let go of, something that haunts him, follows him around wherever he goes. It darkens his day. I should imagine that even though he went to Afghanistan where they didn't have the Guardian newspaper, and um, so he wasn't aware of what was going on then. Um, he is now aware because he's learned how to Google. Perhaps Megan taught him. And um, so he can't stop looking at these stories, even though he is in California, sunny California, surfing USA. Um, his hopes and fears right now, his hopes and fears. Oh, he's very worried that this is going to go down badly for him. Um, interesting, Ten of Swords. Um, he can hope as well that he's going to um, execute his brother. I think in particular, he's wanting, it's a bit of a Cain and Abel vibe there, wanting to finish his brother off with this revelation about the secret settlement. As far as I understand, settlements generally are, uh, well, not generally, but it can be confidential, nothing wrong with that, confidential settlement. You, start, you, you make it a, a term of it, um, there it is, um, that's it. Uh, between the parties nothing at all wrong with it but it tells me i'm getting a really nasty almost like a pain in my chest no i don't have a pain in my chest but i have the sense of it the intuition of it that he really wants to stab his brother and finish him off but he's also afraid that this could finish him off i don't think he thought it through i think he thought that he would be off offered an enormous settlement he could make this tearjerker of a witness statement um, that a lot of people are saying um, could suffice as or serve as spare too. Um, it was so full of self-pity and um, hyperbole and uh, false claims that I want to back up and hearsay and all the rest of it. Uh, but I think he's a little bit worried about this, more than a little bit with the Ten of Swords. Very worried that this all could go horribly wrong. So let's see. Outcome, current energy. We've got this very interesting judgment coming our way soon whatever that may be, what is going to be the ultimate outcome for Harry? The Five of Pentacles is going to cost him. It's going to cost him big time. Uh, I actually am stunned. Uh, the energy has hit me. It's hit me like that Ten of Swords, um, wrecking ball kind of energy. Uh, it's going to cost him money, a lot of money. Uh, and it could cost him his relationship with his family, finally. He's out, he's exiled, go away. There it is again. I don't know how many times I'm going to end up saying that. Go away. Five of Pentacles is literally the exile card. We had a little Pentacles run the beginning of this reading with a seven in reverse. Wasting money. Universe said he's wasting money. He's wasting time and resources, but he's dropping money on this that he, sh he probably can't afford. Um, we've got the Knight of Pentacles. I'm just going to jolly well stick at this. Um very determined, thinks that he's on a crusade here with the hermit, um, wants to reveal these secrets, the moon in reverse, the magician in reverse, wants to show up the royal family, wants to do his brother maximum harm, fears that he might himself be in for some a bit of a rude awakening. There is a rude awakening with the judgment card. It tells me it's a rude awakening because we have got that five of pentacles outcome and the underlying energy is the seven of pentacles. The court could get quite annoyed as annoyed as an English court might get. Uh, Megan, of course, who perjured herself in the court was given a little telling off about her forgetfulness. So I don't have much hope 
of uh, you know Harry, Harry being put in the stock for um, wasting the court's time or whatever they used to do, boiled alive or one of those nice medieval tortures. Um, but sadly not that, but there is, there is a very, very harsh outcome for Harry, very harsh. He, uh, he looks like, according to this reading, he looks like he's going to rue the day that he set off on this rather reckless Knight of Wands course. So that is your reading. Thanks for watching. I'm going to hop on to the next one.